Hey everybody, welcome back to the Hyrule Compendium series where we go through various topics in Legend of Zelda and uh, discuss them. Today we have a, uh, a comment from CrazyKey217 who asks us, uh, what did you guys think of wildlife and things like hunting? Uh, did you like having the variety? Would you have liked more variety of wildlife? And did you eventually get bored or not? Um, my first reaction is when I first saw some of the animals, I thought it was kind of exciting. Mm -hmm. Like the first time you saw like a deer, you know, and, and like you immediately think, can you like land on top of it? At yep. least that's what I thought, you know? Oh yeah. And you know, the level of excitement when you first land on a deer and you like sue them and you can like hop around on them. Mm -hmm. That's just magical. I yeah. Think. And uh, and then it, that just carried on with every every new you know you eventually ride a moose mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you ride ride a bear the bear <laughs> uh, we talked in one video you can ride the the stall horses you know I still haven't seen one mm -hmm, really <laughs> yeah yeah I've played this game for over a hundred hours now <laughs> and I haven't seen a stall horse yeah that's kind of that's kind of awesome is there are certain things that you're like oh have you done this yet and I haven't seen. I haven't seen a dragon yet. Yeah. You know? <laughs> oh. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so what about the actual hunting aspect of it? Um, so it was, it was kind of the same idea, idea, too, where, like, you know, I saw, like, a fox for the first time. And, you know, part of me wants to, like, I kind of feel bad when I kill them, though. It's no, like they're yeah. just, like, standing there and you just run right up to them, shoot an arrow at them. Mm-hmm. And, and then I like how it just immediately turns into like a food. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, just like a little. It's it's funnier even later when if you shoot them with a fire arrow or something. It's yeah, like, it's like cooked already, seared steak. <laughs> yeah, it gets to the point where where you'll just be running by, you'll see one and be like, you know, pick, keep go about your business. Like eventually, you just like desensitize to like. Yeah. That you're roasting all of these foxes and goats. <laughs> <laughs> Mass, like, yeah. Especially for, like, animal lovers. Like, I, I kind of consider myself one. And mm -hmm. I, I feel bad. Yeah. But it's, 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 it's all right. It's, it's a video game. Uh huh. <laughs> um, what, I mean, as far as the actual mechanics, like, did, did you like the hunting or? Um, at first, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it, get, it 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 does get a little bit, you know, there's nothing new after the first two hours of the game compared to hour number 40 of the game. So you're sort of just going through the motions if you need food. Mm -hmm. uh, I never really felt like, oh, I am low on food. I need to go hunt. I don't mm -hmm. know if you ever felt that way. Uh, no. Because no, I always had, you just did it as you went. You know, you always had like, I always had herbs or apples or whatever. So I had... I never had I never had a problem where I didn't have enough food to cook with. Mm -hmm. So um, it was never a big big issue to me. Yeah, for me I felt like I mean it was it was cool it was there and stuff. So I don't have any huge uh, cons or like negative feelings towards it. But compared to other games like Assassin's Creed or Skyrim, like there is much a little bit more not much more a little bit more to the hunting and you're you're also collecting like the pelts and using them for crafting and stuff like that that would okay. that have been kind of cool to see in in this too instead of like oh you know it just turned into a a little cartoon uh drumstick right you know it'd have been cool if there's like Maybe you need to get feathers or... Or you need, like, wool or something and you kill, like, a sheep or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They could, I mean, but that wasn't something that I thought was, like, missing. Mm -hmm. But just because I've seen it in other games, uh, it could have been cool to incorporate that, too. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I wish you could... Uh, this is not really with the wildlife, but, like, like the dogs, too. And we talked about the in the horses. Mm -hmm. uh, like, it'd be cool if you could, like play with them a little bit or like you can like pet them or i mean these are wildlife now we're talking about so you can't i guess you can kind of like domesticate a deer by just jumping on it mm -hmm. which is kind of weird by the way because it's totally unrealistic <laughs> yeah 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 it could have been cool if you could like feed the deer some uh 
some vegetables or something yeah. like a little fruit or something yeah. and uh i think um i've only actually encountered i think three bears in my playthrough i don't know if you encountered many of them i don't think they're as common as yeah i've only seen one or two okay and i i don't know if it, i don't think it ever attacked me i think it was like moving but i don't know if they if the bear will the bear maul you eventually <laughs> I, 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 what I saw you, uh, do the other day was basically my experience with the bear was that either I just got on it or it just kind of ran around. Yeah. So that, that, that maybe is a little disappointing cause that you I remember, wanted to get mauled by the bear, you know, when you first see a bear, uh, go back, going back to Skyrim, but when you first see a bear, it's like, whoa. And then it's, it's like scary, you know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. chases you down. You know, but in this one, it's it's a cute, it's cute, and it, it's more cartoony, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's... You don't you don't feel scared around a bear. No, I don't. I didn't feel scared around like the wolves either. They were mm-hmm. like all over the place, and you usually, I mean, mm-hmm. if I was you know, wandering through the wilderness and I ran into a pack of wolves, yeah, I don't know how I would feel about that one. <laughs> yeah. Um. Eventually, it doesn't even feel like, like at first when I first encountered them, it was like kind of like, oh, they're attacking me. Like I better fight them or run. Do they even attack you, the wolves? It's like they, they like I think circle they around. They might eventually if you don't do anything. But I don't. Yeah, they're just kind of there. Yeah. Um. And then uh, another thing that I kind of wish was there was, was fishing. Yeah, the fishing was odd, like, because that's totally unrealistic how the fishing is done. Uh-huh. You just, just jump in and grab the fish. <laughs> mm-hmm. And, and it's odd because while there's so many things in this game that are uh, brand new, fishing is not one of them, in, the, in that fishing has been, like, a staple in the Zelda series since Link's Awakening, Ocarina of Time, mm-hmm. Twilight Princess. They brought it back in Majora's Mask 3D. So it's like... It is a big part of Phantom Hourglass too. Like so, I mean, it's it's always been here. Yeah. And considering this is Breath of the Wild with all the wilderness, mm-hmm. uh, the the you just went and grabbed a fish out of the water. Yeah. And I like how you got fish out of like octa rocks. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Well, hmm. that that makes sense though. Yeah. Maybe they uh like sucked them in. Some. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. That that was kind of a bummer, mm-hmm. but uh. You, I guess you could also shoot the fish too with the bone. Yeah, there. you can. Which is that actually a thing? <laughs> um, maybe. I don't know. I th- let let us know. <laughs> yeah, if there's any uh, archer slash fisherman watching this video. <laughs> um, but with as far as the wildlife goes, like while you know it's like oh, little all these little nitpicks. It was cool that there was. A variety of wild wildlife that you could interact with. Yeah, yeah, I th- there was a decent amount in there. Yeah, most of it you would interact with in the same way, but it was it was cool that it was there. I, there was like one too many foxes. I think like I I find I always found foxes and like birds, mm-hmm. like little seagulls, and you know. Yeah, it was one of those. They should have like if they had like the giant like bald eagles or like you know. Oh yeah, that that'd be cool. Or right. Alligators or something. They bring back um. The Twilight Princess thing, where you can call the bird and okay, send it to to attack stuff or grab stuff. Yeah, It'd be cool. Yeah, some pretty cool uh, ideas <laughs> that they could do going forward. And then they should intru- reintroduce some of the like the mechanics where, like, in as Wolf Link, you were able to talk to some of the animals. Mm, yeah, I, I want to talk to a bear. <laughs> yeah, see, see what's on its mind. Just <laughs> <laughs> uh, it would have been cool. Uh, I remember in that one area where you interacted with the bear, there was also a Hynix or a Stalnix or something. Maybe like, yeah. hey, go over there and uh, attack that guy for you me. Collaborate with the bear to take down the Hynix. Yeah, that'd truly be like Breath of the Wild. You know, that maybe would... an armor set. The wild armor set lets you talk to the animals. <laughs> yeah. All right, you gotta do this, Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah. Any other thoughts on the wildlife? Or no, I think it was all right. It was yeah, solid. yeah, yeah. Just it was good. <laughs> well, um, yeah. What, let us know what you thought of the wildlife. Um, let us know if uh, that's an accurate way to fish. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, let us know if there's any other topic you want us to cover. Thanks for watching.